And sometimes we forget, we forget that even Jesus went through troubles and trials. Amen. But it's a good reminder to go into the Word of God and to read these things, to know that even the most perfect and the most holiest of holy even had troubles and trials. It's sometimes you're going to be tempted. It's sometimes you're going to go through something. Sometimes it may be 40 days and 40 nights. Sometimes it may be three days. Sometimes it may be 21 days. Just ask old brother Daniel, amen. But old brother Daniel, he stayed in it for the long haul, amen. He got in there and he fasted and prayed and he seeked out and God answered his prayer. So let us read in Matthew chapter 4 tonight starting in verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Even though God sent his son, he still had something to do. He still had to show us that it could be done without being God. But I'm here to tell you something tonight. If you've been saved and you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, you've got something down inside of you. Yes, That's right. that same Spirit that raised Jesus yes. up from the dead. That same Spirit. Yes. Amen. Yes. It'll quicken your mortal body. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. And then the tempter came to him. This is the old devil. He said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. So I say a thunder to you children tonight, if you're going through something, you need to command these stones to be made bread tonight. You need to take a hold of what's coming against you, and you need to use that spirit that God gave you, and you need to come against it. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to quicken everybody else. So I tonight that even Jesus had to go out there and he had to die for something he didn't do. Amen. But I say a thing to you tonight, you're going to have to die for something you didn't do. Yeah. And that's what it takes to be a child of God. Right. You're going to have to get dedicated. You're going to have to put on the whole armor of God. Yes. You're Amen. going to have to put on the garments of praise. You're going to have to get down and fast and pray. You shut that old Sunday. Oh, yes. Lord, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he answered and said, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. You may be seated here tonight. Oh, and he saith unto him, verse 6, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands shall they bear thee up lest at any time they'll dash thy foot against the stone. Huh? There's too many people today, huh? they're dashed, they're dashing that foot against the stone, amen. They're stopping blessings from going through. Yes. Huh? They're yeah. too worried about feeding their flesh huh? and not their spirit. Huh? I'm here to tell you something. Huh? Jesus came down as part of God. Huh? When he rose up, huh? he became huh? He became huh? just like us huh? when they're in the baptism. Huh? But when he went up on the cross huh? and he come down, huh? he went back up. Huh? Yes. But I say to you tonight, there's things that you're going to have to feed your spirit. And there's too many times that we're not praying enough. There's too many times we're not fasting enough. There's too many times that we're not staying away from evil things in this world. There's just some places you can't go. There's some things you can't buy. And there's some things you just can't say. I know because I've been there. I'm not going to pray or preach anything that I've not went through. But I'm here to tell you something. My Heavenly Father is the same way. Yeah, He's not going to tell you something that That's His right. Son didn't go through. Yeah. So I'm here to tell you something tonight. We need to grab a hold of this Word. And we need to fast. And we yeah. need to pray. Yeah, I go so into churches. They say they're just getting old. I go into some churches. And they say we just ain't got enough people. But no. The answer to everything. I don't care if you're by yourself in a bedroom. Or in a crowd out of 50 people. Huh? Yeah. The Holy Ghost can't right. move huh? yeah. if you don't invite it in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Why do we want to tempt him tonight? Amen. Why do we want to tempt him? Even I know uh, that I can't do things all through the week and just show up to church and have a hunky-dory yeah. service. Amen. Yeah, yeah. That's what's wrong with today. Uh, it's easy to blame the people sitting in the pews. Uh, it's easy to blame society. Uh, it's easy to blame the devil. Uh, oh, unless we talk about blaming the devil for everything. Uh, but you're the one that has to allow the devil.
able to do it. Amen. 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 I'm just as guilty. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him, Lord. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things I will give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee <coughs> For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Hallelujah. How many times do people make commitments, uh, and they say these words during salvation, uh, but the next day they're back to doing the same thing. Come on, help us, Lord. Amen. 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 Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast and the borders of Zebulon and Nephilim, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulon and the land of Neph Neph Nephilim, the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. And where do you think this light came from? It may have been hard when Jesus was out there in the wilderness uh, and he was going about his way uh, and he was hungry. Uh, he was weak. Uh, I imagine he had migraines. I imagine he had headaches. Uh, I imagine his stomach uh, thought his throat been slipped. Uh, I imagine all kinds of things were running through his mind. Uh, but we didn't know because uh, we weren't there. Uh, but I'm here to tell you something tonight. Uh, we got to die uh, that Christ may live. Amen. Galatians 2. 20. Yes. Uh, and there's something to be seen here. Uh, if Jesus wouldn't have fasted, uh, and if you don't fast, uh, somebody else can't be blessed. Uh, right. All of Galilee couldn't have been blessed without this fasting. Uh, the church can't go on uh, without the fasting. Uh, I don't care uh, how new of a guitar you got. Uh, I don't care uh, what you've done. Uh, but if you ain't calling out to the Father, uh, yeah. it can't be done. Uh, even old Job uh, thought he could go out uh, and he could do things on his own uh, and build up his treasures, uh, even though he was a pretty decent feller, uh, it still all got washed away, uh, because the only thing that mattered uh, was his relationship uh, with the Father. Uh, and I'm here to tell you something tonight, uh, your life uh, will only be as much as what it can be uh, wherever your relationship with the Father is at. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right, amen. Praise God, praise God. From that time, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, <clears throat> "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." That's what needs to be preached today. Amen. Yes, amen. That's right. Amen. I can't put something up on the screen and promise you many treasures. Amen. amen. That don't work like that. I can't tell you if you'll right. just give this much right. that you'll be blessed. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm praise sure you will be blessed. Amen. But that don't mean you're going to receive the kingdom in heaven. That's right. Amen. I can tell you all kinds of things and pat you on the back and tell you you go where you want to go, you drink what you want to drink, smoke and chew what you want to smoke and chew, say what you want to say, wear what you want to wear. But if it ain't godly, it ain't godly. If it comes against the word of God, then it's not right. Amen. It's easy to follow the world because times are changing. That's what they did years ago. That's not what we do today. But I'm here to tell you something. My God said he's the same today as he was tomorrow and forever and forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the only way. And you've got to get Jesus number one on your mind all the time and on your heart. Amen. It's easy to get sidetracked of what's going on in the world. Worrying about Trump and Biden and worrying about what they're doing, killing all these babies. Uh, letting 13 year old girls been pregnant now go out and give have an abortion without a parental consent uh, mm -hmm. amen this world's evil uh, when mm -hmm. we start making murder legal uh, you know we got problems uh, yes. I'm here to tell you something uh, they can call these groups of people the state of their self cults uh, but there's something to be said about what they're doing uh, they probably ain't <coughs> dealing with what we are uh, and I get so tired uh, of hearing about all these things uh, and voting it in and voting it not uh, I don't want to trust nobody but my Lord and Savior amen. Jesus Christ amen, amen. Uh, I know uh, that when I'm fasting, uh, there ain't enough counselors, uh, there ain't enough medicine, there ain't enough food and drink to make me feel what the presence of my Holy Spirit can make me feel. Hallelujah. 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 And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea. For they were fishers, and he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. 
Things like that just don't happen through the flesh, amen. But through Jesus' fasting, how many of you believe that if he wouldn't have went through that period of fasting, he wouldn't have had the strength to talk to them and to get them to leave straight away and for them not to argue with him. Because if you go out here on your own free will and you've not been praying or fasting and you come upon two devils living in the world, I'll guarantee you, you're going to come against something, amen. And you've got to be prayed up and you've got to be ready. And my word says that no sin shall enter into heaven. And there's some people, they can make excuse for sin. They can say they sin every day and we all come short of the glory of God. But I'm here to tell you something. My God ain't short. His glory ain't short. And I want to climb the curtains until I get to the top. And I'm going to have to keep on living righteously and keep on walking righteously and talking righteously. And as that concerned, dressing righteously. I'm here to tell you something. The world's just taking too much. Amen. The world's just taking too much from us. And we're going to have to work hard and fast and pray to get it back. If you go over there and you read in Daniel, I encourage you to read in Daniel. But when Daniel was praying and fasting, there wasn't nobody else fasting. And the world was going to pieces. And nobody had any hope that it was going to make it. Just like we are now. Well, I'll guarantee you that this world's going to burn up. But I can't guarantee guarantee you that there's still not souls out here that need saved. So I'm here to tell you something tonight. They can say that this is the will but we've got to turn things around and we've got to come against the devil and we've got to take back what's rightfully yes, ours. Amen. And these souls out here are ours. Yes. And we need to be greedy with them. And we need to be telling them. We need to be calling them in. We need to be compelling those to come in. There have been many times I've been walking through Walmart or when I was in school and the Lord would show me people uh, that were called to preach uh, or he would show me people that were called to be prophets uh, if the Lord tells you something uh, you need to be telling them uh, because the blood's on your hands uh, and you're held accountable for it uh, we need to not worry about hurting somebody's feelings uh, we need to be worried about where their soul's going to go uh, oh hallelujah let me pray hallelujah hallelujah oh that thank you Praise the Lord. Praise they straight away left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw another two brethren, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. They immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria. They brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and he healed them. There's many people today with these same things. Amen. 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 I guarantee you 50% of Florida is this way. They've got something going on. I bet it's even higher than 50. I don't bet. But I would say that it's even higher than 50%. 50%. There's people out here that the devil's just got in their minds that they don't even know what, they don't even understand it because they're on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. They're on the inside. Mm -hmm. Amen. If there's a hole in my siding and you can see all the way to the insulation, but I'm on my inside worried about why, where the heat's going, but I can't see it because the wall's not cracked on this side. I've got problems on the outside I can't see in. Yeah. And I'm hoping you're going to come by and tell me that I've got yeah. some problems. Yeah. I've, got some problems. I've got some problems. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. But too many people today just want to argue with you, amen? Yeah, amen. I just want to get mad at you. Oh, he's, he's judging me. He's judging me. I get so sick of judging me. I get so sick of Come on, man. Amen. If I don't judge you, you're going to go to hell. Amen? I mean, you've got to judge. If you don't judge, you're never going to be able to do nothing. You got to judge every time you wake up in the morning whether you're going to get out of bed or whether you're not. Whether you're going to put on your pants or whether you're not. Whether you're going to get a warm juice out of the fridge or not. Whether you're going to go to work or not. You got all these things you got to judge. You got to judge this. There's a reason that you say no to something. You've already judged that on mine. If I say no, I don't want Dr. Pepper. That don't mean I love Dr. Pepper. That means I must not really care for it if I don't want it. Amen. Hallelujah. So if somebody's telling me no, they don't want it, then I'm going to suspect that they've got something against this. Amen. And that's what the world's doing to God. They're rejected him. No, not right now. I've got plenty of time. No, not this. No, not that. It don't fit their lifestyle. Amen. Praise God. Oh, but I've seen many things happen. These churches wonder why things are going to pieces, but if it just if you just fast a little bit and you just pray, and you stand back and watch what God's doing. Yeah, that's right. 
Jesus didn't come this just to please you and please me. He came here to fast to show us that this is the way and this is the only way. And there'll never be any other way like it. That's right. Amen. I'll guarantee you those two meals and three meals you fast today will amount to 50. I bet there's no amount that they'll amount to. I'm not even going to put a number on it. Because that time that you spend with the Lord will be so precious. There'll be wisdom come out of that. There'll be people healed come out of that. There'll be demons set free and out of those bodies. And now that we can take that soul captive and use it to shine for our Lord and Savior. And that's what it's all about. Amen. Because too many people get mad at one another. And we've got to look on the inside. We've got to see what's going on. Say, God, what, what's going on here? What's going on here? This don't seem of you. If they're under spiritual attack, it's your duty. You carry the weapon. you got to stop it. If a policeman drives by and sees two people out here in the street shooting guns at each other, is it not his job to stop it? Would you not want him to come by and stop it? Yeah. Those people, there's people out here crying for help. There's people in here, I'm sure tonight, crying for help on the inside of their mind. Amen. It's our duty to come out to them. They come out of thee. This is our territory. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a little fasting, just a little praying. Do a whole lot for people, yes, amen. Yes, right. Right. Amen. I've never felt so good than coming out of a fast and seeing things happen. Oh, yes, amen. Yes. amen. And I'm sure there's, there's people here that can testify to that. <coughs> amen. Well, we did things a little reverse tonight. But you know what? Jesus is totally opposite of us. That's right. Amen. But we've got to follow what he wants to That's right. That's right. It will right. never work. Right. You got some way you're heading tonight that's not working? Turn around and go the other way. What do you got to lose? Right. Right. What do you got to lose? Right. Try Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Here in just a second, these altars are going to be open. Soon we're going to have worship. I want you to come and get your heart opened up because God's got a blessing for you tonight. Yeah. Jesus has got something he wants to do. Wants to tell you the Holy Ghost has got somewhere he wants to move you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's that worship and it's that praise that keeps me going. Yes. You know, without Amen. that worship and that praise, but first I've got to start with the Word of God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That precious and wonderful Word. Oh, we if you got something you, you need prayer for tonight, these altars are going to be open. And I encourage you to come down here. I don't care if you think, well, you're just too tired tonight or well, you're just too worried tonight. I want you to come down. Give it up. I feel some tension tonight. I feel something. I feel something. I feel something. I feel something. Somebody's trying too hard for flesh and you need to let it go spiritually. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Maybe even for more than one of them. But if you feel it speaking to your heart, you give it up. I don't have to know who you are. I'm not going to be paying attention. I'm not going to think no different of you. I'm going to be more proud of you because you come forward. That's what I'm proud of. Lord, help us all. That's what I'm proud of. God, I just I'm not proud of the arrogance. I'm proud of the lost that come in and admit they're lost. So that's who I'm proud of. Yes. Lord, so help us, Lord, grow in the grace of God. Come and see the Father. Lord, I just believe in you, Lord. Deal with me, Lord. Help me. Lord, I come before the foot of the cross, Lord. I just want to praise you. Lord, I want to praise you. Help all the ones around that. Father God, I come always before thy throne, Lord. Lord, I just help me day by day, Lord.